Hey guys, what's going on? It's Amar here. So we're doing another topic today. Today's topic is going to be swing arm tire machines versus the good old legendary tilt back tire machine. So let's get down to it. We have a launch tire changer here, 512 RMB. We have a Code 5060 AX, okay? So now, let's get down to the basics of it. Swing arm is the very first tire machine technology brought in. Uh, every day, they both have rim clamp tables. As you can see now, swing arm. As you can see, the benefits of a swing arm, swing arm is that they can go against anything. They do not require no room to be tilted back. The arm can swing over, over 90 degrees right there. And it can come in very, very close to do a very small wheel. It's got a good range. As you can see, it's got this big nut here, a bolt, which you can turn, open up to do bigger wheels. And you can do it to push right against it. Also the safety so that the um, arm won't go over the rim. That's the basis of it, and also what helps is you've got your controls on the side, and you can also work from the side. Now, tilt back here. Tilt back is one positive fact about tilt back. You can do very, very big tires, 37 inch, 40 inch tires, but some negative factors of the tilt back is, is that it requires so much room back there. See here, for example? So you can slide this all the way back or forward. You need that much room in the back to compensate. So that's one negative factor, and they're very slow, opposed to the swing arm, which you can move right over. So we tilt this back and you'll see right now how much room is required to go back. Okay, now so that's something if you have a big shop that you can have room and do it. But like I said, if you have a small shop, you can have more room by not using a tilt back. And also there's more mechanical parts that are gonna break down opposed to a swing arm, which is pretty much no mechanical parts, one huge arm and a giant bolt. So that can be brought over many times. So it's very less wear and tear. So now you're going to ask me, say, which one would you buy? Well, I actually have them both, so that's going to be a tough decision. But something that I want to tell you is I have, I did start, we did start doing wheels and tires. We did start with a tilt back. This got all the fancy assist arms, but the tilt back itself, after a while, I get used to it. But now that I realize that I won't be buying another tilt back, because just for the simple fact that it requires a lot less room, it requires more room, <clears throat> and it's more movable parts. And one negative factor is whenever you have to remove a tire, you have to stand feet down here. You have to reach over, put the bar in and pull the tire back. So you got to kind of got to reach over and pull over, which is going to take a toll on your back. Where the swing arm here is you can work very easily from the side where you just pull it forward here. You don't have to reach over because it's very close. And you can work from this side here, which is very easy. So guys, if you're going to, if you're doing very fancy, you know, low pro tires and, you know, wheels and stuff like that, you can get a swing arm that has all the attachments opposed to uh, a tilt back. But if you have a tilt back, I'm not saying throw in the garbage, but you can definitely upgrade to something better. So swing arm versus tilt back tire machine. Which one should I buy? Definitely gonna go with the swing arm. Much faster, less movable parts, and it's more production workhorse. Thanks for following me. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, Hilliard Drimlines, or Amar here at my personal account, which is A-M-A-R-S-I-H-R-A. -A -A -A. Thanks for watching, guys. Give us a call, 905-528-3500.